Today, the entire automotive world is gradually moving towards electrification. At first sight, electric vehicles can immediately solve many problems, mainly related to environment protection and lower operational costs. But even the most advanced electric vehicles cannot provide a solution to all problems, as there are some concerns that stop customers from buying an EV. For example, many drivers don't switch to electric cars because they don't have the possibility to charge them at home or at work, or they don't have enough time to charge their cars at public charging stations. That's why there is a reason to consider solar cells as a considerable advantage for the already existing electric cars. What are the specifics of using solar energy to power cars? They seem to be one of the best last-mile solutions providing extra energy for reaching home or the nearest charging station. Another great advantage is that the sun is an inexhaustible source of energy. But on the other hand, there are many limitations. The efficiency of solar panels directly depends on a variety of conditions, such as proper placement, dirt and dust, and the illumination as the lack of sunlight significantly reduces the efficiency of the exploitation of the cars. One of the Dutch startups has tried to solve this problem on its prototype Stellar Era. This autonomous car is trained to estimate the illumination level on the parking place and, depending on the battery level, independently change its location. The question is how this algorithm will work on a busy parking lot. Despite all these limitations, many companies consider the usage of solar technologies as a promising solution for the nearest future. Toyota was perhaps the first serious manufacturer to pay attention to the solar cells. A few years ago, the Japanese company introduced a hybrid Prius with a solar panel on the roof to charge some internal modules of the car. The solar roof on the current Prius PHV delivers up to 180 watts of power from panels that are 23% efficient and can provide 3.8 miles of range a day, but it can only be used for charging the batteries while the car is parked. Then Toyota went further and introduced the advanced version of its Prius PHV equipped with all new solar panels, which are designed to charge the vehicle even while the car is driving. This new version of Toyota Prius Prime is equipped with solar panels of 860 watts evenly mounted on the roof, hood, and the rear hatch. The latest modification uses photovoltaic solar cells produced by Sharp. Toyota says that the new panels have more than 34% of efficiency and on an ideal sunny day can provide the Prius PHV with up to 35 miles of range a day. At the same time, the vehicle uses a 9 kilowatt hours battery, which delivers another 25 miles of EPA-rated electric driving range a day by itself. In normal conditions, this plug-in hybrid could operate as a normal electric vehicle without consuming any gasoline. And even when the battery is depleted, additional power source is a huge support to prolong daily commute and shopping trips. The Lightyear One is one of the most advanced solar-powered vehicles so far, due to go on sale next year. The Dutch startup was founded by former members of solar team Eindhoven. This team has a large experience in solar technologies and is a three-time winner of the World Solar Challenge race. Due to its sleek design, with modern elegance, it might be difficult to notice the solar panels covering the roof and hood, which consists of five square meters of integrated solar cells. The panels are encased in safety glass to protect them from possible damages, and as the manufacturer claims, they are 20% more efficient than traditional solar panels. And unlike them, these cells function independently which means even if a part of the roof or hood is in shadow, the other cells continue to efficiently collect solar energy. They can charge the electric car's battery at a rate of 7 miles per hour and provide 31 to 43 miles of daily range, which could result in producing up to 12,000 miles worth of energy per year. The Lightyear One is equipped with four independently controlled in-wheel electric motors, which lower the vehicle's weight and offer drivers unique control. Besides solar energy, the battery itself can provide a WLTP-based driving range of 450 miles on a full charge. 
Alongside with all these astonishing features, the Lightyear One has a big minus – the high price. The company has already started the pre-order campaign for the first 500 vehicles for around $135,000. Afterwards, the stylish five-seater will cost even more with a starting price of $170,000. The next ready-to-production model is Sion from a German solar electric car startup Sono Motors. The vehicle is equipped with both a 35 kWh battery pack and an array of integrated solar cells over the vehicle's body. Like the Lightyear One, the solar modules are perfectly adapted to the shape of the vehicle and can provide more than 20 miles of solar range a day. The Sion EV's battery powers a 120 kilowatts electric motor and needs only 30 minutes to reach 80% charge from a fast charging terminal. The vehicle can achieve a range of about 160 miles and can reach a top speed of 87 miles per hour. Thanks to a bi-directional onboard charger, the Sion will be able to share its power to recharge other electric vehicles, as well as to power all common electronic devices with up to 11 kilowatts. It comes with a spacious, innovative interior featuring a 10-inch display that provides all the necessary information. After the unprecedented success of a crowdfunding campaign that helped to collect around 53 million euros in just 50 days, the company will be probably ready to bring the vehicle to market by the end of the current year. The Sion EV will be priced at around $28,000. The next model could be much more efficient in the narrow streets of the modern cities, helping solve the growing problems of traffic congestion. The affordable Squad Solar Car has been designed by two former Lightyear employees. It's a compact two-seater, offering a top speed of 28 miles per hour. The manufacturer promises the 50 miles per hour version will be available if there's enough demand for it. Apart from the solar array, the vehicle is equipped with a battery, so it can also work in the night, in winter, or even indoors. The solar cells will give the battery enough energy to achieve a daily solar range of more than 18 miles. The lack of doors and side panels are an apparent cost-saving measure, according to Squad Mobility. But the company also offers removable side covers. Though the company says that its roof, windshield and floor should keep riders relatively dry during rainy days. The Squad Solar Car is initially planned to be delivered to Europe in 2021 and has an affordable price tag of around $6,300. Tesla also offers a self-charging option for its new electric pickup using the sun's power. Elon Musk confirmed that the Cybertruck will be offered with an optional solar roof over the truck's bed. This array will provide an additional 15 miles of range per day. On top of that, the vehicle could be equipped with the fold-out solar wings to increase that extra range to 30 to 40 miles per day, which is fully comparable to the average driving commute in the US. If this option is not too expensive, it will be attractive to a lot of customers. It seems the ability to recharge during a trip could become one of the main advantages when designing cars with solar panels. The Korean car manufacturer Hyundai has recently released the latest version of its Sonata hybrid sedan featuring solar panels on the roof as well. The company claims that on a sunny day, up to 60% of the car's 1.56 kWh battery can be charged by the panels if the solar roof is used for 6 hours. The generated electric power will increase driving range by about 2 miles every day, providing 700 extra miles of battery power per year. The solar array costs $1,200 by itself in Korea, and the solar roof equipped Sonata will also be available in North America. Well, solar cells add cost and weight to cars, but at the same time they boost fuel efficiency and lower carbon dioxide emissions. 
New technological advances increase reliance on solar by promising to decrease costs and increase solar panel efficiency. Engineers are working on a new cost-effective cell design installed with electronics that let the cell track the position of the sun accurately to capture more light and transform light energy to electricity more efficiently. So it's clear that solar technologies will increase their significant role in the automotive industry in the near future.